Hey, what's up, Amnesio Cole? And Ubisoft just announced the release date for the 5.5 update for Watch Dogs Legion. They also announced some really cool stuff that I didn't even know was going to be in this update. So let's get right into it. So the first and biggest topic is the Assassin's Creed crossover. We've known this is going to happen since early June. We're going to get a new playable character, story missions, and world missions. Honestly, I wasn't really that confident in this update before Bloodline came out, but after the quality of Bloodline, I'm way more confident in Ubisoft's ability to make a really good DLC with really good story missions and good characters. I've personally never played Assassin's Creed, but I've heard some really good things about it, so this would be my first experience with Assassin's Creed. The next thing they announced is Invasion PvP, which is, you know, it was in the first game, it was in the second game, so it only makes sense that it's in the third game. This is something that I'm really excited for. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is something that's separate from the main game and storyline, so is it like Invasion in the previous two games where you could just be in your single player world and then people would come and invade you? Or is it like you actually have to go into Watch Dogs Legion online and then people invade you in there? Because I don't know how I feel exactly about online and single player being two separate modes because it just complicates things like this and I personally I like the system in the previous two games and if you ever just didn't like to get invaded then you can always turn it off in the settings so I think that's honestly a better way of going about it we've also got extraction coming a new free reward track which means Watch Dogs Legion Online Season 3 resistance mode for the campaign and Watch Dogs Legion of the Dead full release for PC and consoles so there is a lot to unpack here. Why don't we start off with resistance mode? So resistance mode is basically an uber ultra realistic hard mode. Not hard mode in the sense that enemies just have a million HP and your weapons do nothing, but things that are a little bit more subtle and I think would make for honestly a way better experience. In the news release that they released earlier this month, they say navigating around the city with this mode is a lot more dangerous and riskier. Going through active checkpoints, you'll get noticed. Are you too close to an Albion soldier on the street? You'll get noticed. Even some of the tech points have been trapped by Albion. Since using public transit would be too much of a risk for DedSec, the underground fast travel system is disabled in this mode. For fast travel options in resistance mode, we focused on expanding the operative swapping system. So this would actually be honestly really a really really cool mechanic looks like all the operatives will appear on the map they will be able to periodically scout out missions placing them close for a convenient operative swap so that just seems like a really cool system to me being able instead of having fast travel locations all around the map which i always felt was a little bit cheaty you actually have operatives that you have to pre-stage in areas and then switch to those operatives and they go on about how all the enemies that you encounter in this mode will be elites so I think this could actually honestly be a game changer for Legion. Other things that are coming out, there are going to be multiple save slots on consoles, which I'm surprised that wasn't a thing already, just like the 60 FPS mode that came in the last update. And they also revealed that the release date for this update is August 24th. We knew that it was going to be mid to late August, but we didn't have an exact date until now. Also, Watch Dogs Legion of the Dead, which came out a few months ago in an alpha stage, um, it looks like it's going to be released uh, to the public on console as well which will be cool. I'm still wondering if it's going to be a standalone game like it was in the alpha. I'm assuming it'll be integrated with the actual game because there was like a grayed out slot for Watch Dogs Legion of the Dead in the main menu, but we'll have to see. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this new update. What are you excited for the most? What do you think of Resistance Mode, Darcy, the Assassin's Creed crossover? Let me know, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.